Hi and welcome to another ink review. My name's Michael and today we're looking at another wonderful Robert Oster signature ink and it is the Maroon 1789. I really like the Robert Oster brand. I think that they have a, a wonderful range of colours, particularly the blues and the greens. But this ink for me is really special. It's got incredible depth and some really lovely shading. It's not a high sheening ink, but it is really very beautiful. It comes in the standard 50ml environmentally friendly plastic bottle uh, and is available from a lot of online retailers and some brick and mortar stores for around the $17 mark. The bottle itself is, as I said before, great for filling up a pen. The pen can go quite deep into the bottle, uh, but as it is a tall slim bottle, it is easy to knock over something to be aware of. This colour is a wonderful dark reddy brown with some beautiful purple sort of undertones uh, and if you look at the the faux chromatography of this ink you can really see how that sort of comes through. With those beautiful light dusty blues and greys at the bottom through to the beautiful vi bright vibrant red at the top you get this really lovely mix of colours and I think that pink in the middle uh, is really quite beautiful uh, and that is certainly the colour you see when uh, you do a water resistance test as you'll see a little later. So I've done some writing samples so we can see how the ink behaves and how it looks on the paper and we'll start with the Rhodia 80 GSM paper. Now a lot of these tests were done with the Lamy Safari with a 1.1 millimeter nib, which uh, I quite like for these tests. And as well as uh, that, I have done some uh, writing samples with both uh, Lamy Safari with a medium nib and the extra fine. I think this actually looks really great in all nibs. The extra fine looks uh, more brownie red. And then as you move up into the, the wetter, uh, broader nibs of course you get some of that shading coming through which is really quite nice to see. I also did a little bit of flex with it and once again that's where that antique sort of brown red looks absolutely beautiful. It's a nice shading ink there's plenty uh, of, of colour to find from these very rich dark browny reds through to much more lighter almost pink sort of colours uh, coming through. And the saturation of the ink is excellent. Water resistance is low, as you can see. I was able to take out most of the detail. It does stay in the page, but I haven't really given that a huge working over. Um, but on the number pass, you can see the detail is just about basically completely missing. The ink does clean well from pens, and it does uh, behave really well on a lot of papers, and in most pens that I've tried it in. As I said, the shading is excellent. It's not a high sheening ink, so you're not going to get a lot of pop uh, from this ink, even on sort of paper like Tomo River. But it does look great on the page regardless. Wetness of this ink is fair. Now, Robert Oster inks tend to either run very wet or very dry, and this sits somewhere in the middle. I find it to be uh, wet enough that you can use it in most pens, but if you're using it in something like a Platinum uh, Century with a fine nib or some extra fines, you might not get a lot of the, the sort of the wetness. It will tend to look a little bit dull uh, on the page. But the flow is good and it's reasonably well uh, lubricated. Uh, and as the dry time suggests of 25 to 30 seconds, it's, it's still got enough sort of wetness in there uh, for paper like the Rhodia and the Tomor River, which we're about to see it on now before we go into some of the bleeding and feathering. So here it is on Tomor River. Uh, 52 GSM, once again with the Lamy Safari, uh, dry time of 35 to 40 seconds um, and if there's any sheen to be seen it's sort of it's on this paper uh, but really it, this ink isn't a high sheening ink, it's quite matte and the the shading is really what sets it apart uh, in that respect. Um, as you can see on both papers it's pretty well uh, behaved, the only point we get bleed of course is where we've laid down a lot of ink for the swabbing. Uh, otherwise it's fairly clean. Flex gives a little bit but that's not so bad. I've tried it on a couple of cheaper brands of paper as well. So we've got here the uh, Reflex 
a, a, a eighty GSM a copy paper with a slightly quicker dry time of around the twenty five second mark, um, and once again well behaved in in all the pens I tried it in, and still very little uh, bleed coming through even where we swabbed on this paper which was quite nice to see. The cheaper paper I tried it on was the Spirex notebook which uh, for me is flimsy very absorbent paper and dry time was 15 seconds which is actually quite slow for this paper uh, but there is a small amount of bleed sort of coming through uh, occasionally where the pen laid down a little bit more ink. But once again, like most Robert Oster inks, it's really quite well behaved. The performance of this ink is really good across the board. Let's look at the score. Um, I've given this ink a 4.5 out of 5. I love the colour of this ink. I think it's really unique. There are a couple of other brands, like I think it's the Detrimentus Johann Sebastian Bach, which is pretty close. Uh, and any of those sort of antique red sepia inks are going to look sort of similar. but. I really like the shading particularly of this one. The performance is great, it cleans well, good saturation. Uh, the water resistance is low, but once again, I think with Robert Oster inks, you're not looking for water resistance. I think the color is probably the, the fundamental feature that we look for in these inks, and the colors are great. The X factor is uh, the shading of this ink and that color which I think is beautiful. You can see from the multiple passes that you do get some good uh, color variation. As for value for money, once again, this is your standard uh, Robert Oster pricing, $17 for the bottle uh, in most countries, so it is reasonable value. It's certainly not the cheapest ink around, but it is a boutique ink and something that you're not going to get uh, anywhere else but from this brand, uh, so I think it's well worth the money. So 4.5 out of 5, I think it's a really lovely ink. I think it's got a really nice unique sort of colour scheme to it and something that looks great on the page and gives a nice antique feel while still remaining uh, modern. You can certainly use it for professional use uh, or for uh, art uh, purposes with uh, water resistance like that. You can get some really lovely effects with uh, water brushes and such. If you found this video useful uh, and enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Also, uh, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button uh, if you want to stay up to date with what I produce. Uh, also, you can message me with any ink or uh, a pen or stationery suggestions you'd like me to look at, and I will see what I can do, and I'd love to hear from you. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll see you later.